in this video we will create a stripe slider animation in framer watch the step-by-step -step process for creating a stunning effect no coding needed just follow along to bring this dynamic slider animation to life in your project let's dive in so inside the canvas i'm going to create a frame so for that i'm choosing the key as f so the frame is created let's give the width to fill and the height to be 650 pixel now let's rename this frame as slider section now inside this slider section i'm going to create another frame let's rename this frame as container and for the width let's give it as fill and height to fill but we need a breathing space for the slider section so i'm choosing the slider section and i'm giving the padding value to 10 now again we need to create an another frame that is for the picture let's name it as picture and give the width to fill and height to fill actually in the slider animation we are going to use the two components that is in the next component first let's create the component for the picture that to be represented so before that let me change the slider section color to white now we are going to create the component for this picture for that i'm choosing ctrl alt k you know to create a new component that is for the picture so we have a variant let's rename this variant to stretch image and let me give the color for this background now let's give the width and height of this as 650 and height to 650 now we need to add another frame for the image so I'm choosing F for the frame. Let me rename it as image. Let's choose the image. And coming to the position, let's make the position to top center. So we get the space at the top. Now we need to make the now we need to create the name and the job at the top right corner. So for that, I'm again creating another frame. Inside it, I need to add the text. For that, I'm pressing T. Let me tweak the changes. For this text as semi bold let me change the color to white let's give the size to 35 now let's change this frame name to content and for this i'm changing it as name and for the width let me give it as fit and for the position we need the position to be relative it's not enabled so it's because it's inside this image i need to make this content to be at the top of this image and also it's not aligned properly it's because of its direction let's make the direction to vertical and also we need this image to be absolute it's not to be in a relative so let me change this type to absolute and let's set the position to be at the top let's make this to zero fine but the content is placed in the center so for that i'm choosing this variant and i'm going to the distribution i'm choosing as start let's make the alignment to the end got it and also we need to create the spacing at the top and the right so again i'm going to this variant that is stretch image and i'm giving the padding value to 30 okay and for the content let's make the width to fill and the height to fit now the contents comes to the center but we need this text to be at the right so by selecting this content i'm going to the distribution and let's make it as end let's take out this color and oh, we need a text for the job so again i'm duplicating it but the direction is in horizontal so i'm choosing the content again let's make the direction to vertical change this to job okay we have used the component so in order to change the name and a job we need to create the variable so for that i'm choosing this name and I'm going to this content and I'm creating a variable as plain text that is for the name. Let's give the default as grace itself. And for the job, again I'm going to the content. Again, I'm creating a and another variable, not existing variable, and another variable. And I'm giving it as job. So by default, let's keep it as web developer. Now let's tweak the changes for this name and the job. So we have created a variable for this name and the job and again we need to change this image. So for that too I'm creating a variable for this image. For that I'm choosing this image and I'm going to the fill and I'm creating the variable for this 
image. So we have completed the first variant. Now let's create a variant too that is for the black and white image and for that we doesn't need this content so let me give the visibility to no let's give the width of this black and white image to 150 in order to make this image as a black and white in the styling i'm choosing the filters as saturate let's make the saturation to zero okay and also we are going to make the hover effect so on hovering the brightness of this image should increase so again, I'm choosing this variant in the star filter. I'm choosing brightness. Let's make the brightness by default 200. Okay, now I'm going to create the hover. So for this, let's give the brightness to 120. So let's take it out. So on hovering, the brightness gets increased. So it looks good. So we have completed the first component. Let's create another component in order to show the interaction between each of these images. So I'm going back. So we have a single image. Let's duplicate it for twice. Now let's change the size of the each image. So coming to the third picture, let's give the width to 3F4. In order to make these two pictures as a black and white, I'm choosing the first picture. Let's change the variant to black and white image. The same follows for the second one. Now we need to change the image. For that I'm choosing the first picture. Let's change the image. So we have changed the images. Now we need to create the interaction between these images. So for that, I'm choosing the slider section. Let's create a component. Now I'm going to create the two variants. The first variant will be like this. Coming to the second variant, we need to make this second picture to be expanded. So I'm choosing the second picture. Let's give the width to 3FR. And for the third picture, let's make the width to 1FR. And we need to change this image to be colored image. So I'm choosing the variant to stretch image. And for the third one, let's make it as black and white image. And coming to the third variant, let's make the variant to stretch image. Let's make the width to 3FR. So we have made the basic setup. So we need to change the text of it. We have already created the variable, so it's will easy to change the text. Now we need to create the interaction between these variant. So I'm choosing the first one. So on tapping this image, it should be like this. So I'm just clicking this arrow to the third variant. So for the second one, it should be like the second variant and for the third one it should be like the first variant the same follows for other two variants so we have created the interaction between all this variant now let's preview this on seeing how it looks so on hovering there is a slight brightness change let me tap it so it's working very properly so we have made the stripe slider animation in Framer. I'm happy to share more details about the Framer and other stuffs in my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you won't miss anything.